I'll be showing a short tutorial on the scheduling pull feature in Outlook 365. This helps with complex scheduling. Okay, I wanna find the best time for these four folks and myself to get a TPS report planning offsite on our calendars. What I'll do next is click insert and built in now is scheduling pull. I'll click this. This opens up a pane on the right hand side and you'll see my meeting 30 minutes by default. Here's the date and the availability of all the different people. So there's five of us. And if I expand this, it has all the different people that I'm inviting, including myself. And I'll collapse it. Now this reads my own calendar and it reads their calendars. And it has a nice little free busy laid out like this. If you scroll down, there are some other times where you can see some people are out or they might not be available. So I'm gonna scroll up and I'll choose a couple different times. We'll say 11 a.m., 2.30, and 3. And I want people to vote on which of those times works best. Now I just click next. I can enter the location. In this case, it'll be a Teams meeting. I can also manage my poll settings since I've set this up. Right here, there's a few options. I'm not gonna go through all of these. You can even lock the poll for attendees. So after they respond and you don't want them to change it, you can lock that poll. An important one is hold selected times on my calendar. So what this means is it'll put a tentative block on my calendar for each of these three times here that I'm choosing since I'm the meeting organizer and I don't yet know what people are going to choose. So I'll click create poll. Okay, the poll's ready to be shared. Right here, it inserts this little card and this is gonna let people vote. There's three time options. And if you have other polls, you might have multiple scheduling polls going on, they'll be able to click that link as well. So I'm gonna click send. Now let's switch over to one of the people who received the mail and show what it looks like on the attendee side. Okay, I'm signed in as Ashley and here is the scheduling poll from Kara Coleman about the TPS report planning offsite. I'm gonna choose to vote here. This takes me right into the area where I can choose where I, this launches me right into the scheduling poll area. I can see the required attendees. I can see how others voted, if they had or not. It looks like Kara, she's the organizer. She can make all three of these times. So I can say, yes, I prefer this one best and I can't make that time. I could also propose another time as well. And I can even add other attendees if I wanted to forward to them equivalent, but I'll just choose vote. Okay, vote submitted. And we'll have one more person vote really quickly and switch back to Kara. Okay, I'm signed in as Kara. It looks like a couple of different people have voted. So this lets me know the different voting patterns. Okay, she prefers this, yes to this, no to that, and a couple of other updates. What I can do next is, as the organizer, I'm gonna go view all my polls and see the overall status here. So let's go say view poll. And I can quickly tell right here, it looks like two people prefer 2.30. And there's some people who say this time is fine. I'll wait till the other folks like Bill Lumberg and Alex respond, but you can get a sense of exactly how this works. And now what you can do is schedule a meeting right from this poll area. So I have the preferred time here. I'll click schedule meeting. This opens up the meeting with everyone addressed. It has it into my calendar. And now I'm just gonna click send. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.